Okay, one me chapter, eight oh twelve. Amazing. Now, I know I can't talk about the chapter without talking about Stanji, but that will be for later. First, I want to talk about my man, Capone. Capone was the boss in this chapter. So, wh the great part about this chapter is when the mix revealed that it was the Straw Hat Pirates who saved them, Pekka is like, okay, this changes everything. He's ready, as long as they give him Caesar, which they are ready to do because Luffy beat Del Flamingo, they don't care. They're like, screw it, okay. Wait, we don't care. You can have Caesar. But, so Capone comes in and he shoots to go Pekka. Now, Please remember that I had, whether or not Peckham is dead is unknown. I assume not because people don't die in One Piece. But one thing that happened in this chapter that was, oh my god, this was so amazing. Capone materializes men and him and Brooke are going to fight them all. They fight them off a little bit. Nami and Chopper are captured. This is a summary, of course. And then Nandi is the only one that is free and they're at a dining room. In the, well, in Sanji is inside of Capone. Make your sexual innuendo jokes later in the comments. But so while Sanji is inside of Capone, the others are all tied up and captured. And Capone invites them to Big Mom's tea party and said that Sanji will be marrying one of Big Mom's 35 children. Now, before I continue, I do want to point out there was a mistranslation, a big one, done by Manga Panda this week. That which was the fact that it said Capone Bounty was three billion. We now know that it's incorrect, and the bounty is act and his bounty is actually three hundred million. A lot better, like three hundred, like. 300 billion would have been insane. 300 billion, 3 billion, I mean, it would have been crazy. Way too much. But, another great thing about this chapter is it had a lot of character interaction moments between like, the other characters. It was nice seeing them be themselves again. That was nice. I mean, it was really good. I mean, I, I think to the rest of the video, I'm mainly going to talk about Sanji. But, so what happened was when you. At that at that panel, that final panel, when you see Sanji stay, he he's horrified. He's like, "Oh my God, how do they know that? Like, how do they know that?" He's freaking out, and I'm kind of just sitting in there, like he knows. Some people were saying he's royalty and he doesn't know it. I was saying if he's royalty, he knows it. I was in that opinion, but I was apparently right, and so was everybody else that said he was royalty and he knew about it. Because Sanji was fucking terrified. He was like, I'm dead. I'm so screwed. But, you know, this was a really good chapter, honestly. You know what? If I was going to rate this chapter, honestly, I can't think of anything bad about it. Per, per, um, Capone gaming the amount of power he did. I'm not so sure about that. But that's nothing for later. But if I had to rate the chapter, I would give it a 10 out of 10. Guys, I know this video was shorter than normal this review. But honestly, I love this chapter. I don't have much to say on it. This chapter is one of those chapters that is very good. But all, it is one of those chapters that is amazing. But all it is is set up. It prepares you for more stuff. And it brings up a lot of good discussions. And now with this, I have a lot of discussions I can do. And I'm just, I'm very happy about this. But guys, I hope you enjoyed my review of One Piece Chapter 812. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation, signing out. Have a great day, guys.